if there was white privilege, why was I always poor? Yeah, his ideas about white privilege are all over the place. At one point he said, if I have white privilege, why did my mom, my dad, and my grandfather die? Um, because we're not vampires. There's not immortality. But a lot of people ask, if I have white privilege, why was I poor? Why did I struggle? Because it doesn't mean you won't do those things. It just means you won't do those things because you are white. Many groups have the same struggles you faced, plus others based solely on the color of their skin, and the fact that you don't experience those is privileged. In fact, you're so privileged you don't even realize those struggles exist. In one of his examples, he almost stumbles on the point. He says, if I'm standing with five black men and a police officer comes up, they assume I'm the one who's up to no good, completely missing the fact that they're saying you're guilty by association. If you're here with the likes of them, you must be up to no good. And yet all of those men are seven and a half times more likely to be wrongfully convicted of a murder than you are. And the odds are even greater if the victim was white. Oh, and if all of you got popped for drug possession, they're 12 times more likely to be convicted on that drug possession than you are. How about we say all of you are applying for a mortgage to buy a home? You're more likely to be approved than they are. In fact, in 2021, an AI bias caused 80% of black mortgage applicants to be denied. And an AI isn't automatically biased, it has to be taught that. And it's not like someone sat down and typed, be racist. It looked at the system already at place, it saw the bias that already exists, and it applied it itself. Now let's say you and all those guys get approved, get your homes, then a few years later, you all decide to sell in the same market. You will almost certainly get more money for your home than they will for theirs. Like this black family who had their home appraised and it came back being worth $472,000 and they thought that was low. So they had a white friend stand in as them, removed family photos, and the same house was appraised at being worth $750,000. And the examples go on and on. You don't have violent stereotypes associated with the color of your skin. You're more likely to be shown in a favorable light in the media, even if you've done something wrong. It isn't hard to find characters in books and movies and television that look and sound like you. But perhaps the greatest example of white privilege is when white people say, I think racism would go away if we just stopped talking about it. Because for many, their only exposure to racism is in media and conversation. They don't actively experience it. And not experiencing it is in itself a privilege. If a terrible thing is happening in the world and the only thing you have to do to remove it from your life is to change the channel, that is privilege.